So the patient needs 400 milligrams of penicillin. And the strength of the medicine is that 125 milligrams of the medicine, the penicillin, will be found in 5 milliliters of the medicine. If we divide this by 125, 125 divided by 125 is 1. We'll be working out how much medicine is needed to get 1 milligram of penicillin. Now if we divide the 125 by 125, we must also divide the 5 by 125. This is called the unitary method. Now it doesn't matter if you don't know that, or, but the point is we're working out 1. And this is called the unitary method. We're told that 125 milligrams are found in 5 milliliters of the medicine. Therefore, if you divide this by 125, we find out that 1 milligram of penicillin is found in this much of the medicine. We can now work out 400 milligrams will be found in 400 multiplied by this fraction. Now we've got to look at how to work out this fraction. Cancelling is the way forward here. Now you can either cancel as it stands or multiply and then do the cancelling. Let's multiply and then do the cancelling. Let's do 5 times 400. 5 times 4 is 20. So 5 times 400 is 20 with two more noughts on the end. Now we can do the cancelling. 25 goes into 125. How many 25s are there in there? There are four 25s in 100, so there are five 25s in 125. How many 25s in 2,000? Now there's nothing to stop you doing a little piece of working out like this. How many 25s in 2,000? How many 25s in 100? Well there are 4. So in 200 there are 8. 8 25s in 200. Therefore there are 80 25s in 2,000. Now this will cancel again. Because 5 goes exactly into 80. And we can do a little division again to work that out. 5's into 80. 5's into 8 goes once with 3 over. And 5's into 30 goes 6. So we're left with an answer of 16. So that's the answer to this question. 400 milligrams of penicillin will be found in 16 millilitres of the medicine. Using this what we call the unitary method, working out one milligram will be found in five 125 millilitres. Quite a hard question to start with. Let's move on to question two.